Now speak with the director of Case Operations at the Free Speech Union, Benjamin Jones. Benjamin, welcome to the show. Astonishing scenes, Swella Bradman, can't believe her eyes, neither can Nigel Farage. We spoke to a Flemish MEP um, who was at the event. He said this kind of thing happens routinely in Brussels. The police often close down political gatherings of people they disagree with. We also spoke with a barrister, Benjamin, who he, he says what happened today could have contravened European Court of Human Rights freedom of expression rules. Whatever you take away from this, Benjamin, it's a day of absolute and utter bedlam in Brussels. Shocking and completely farcical. But I'll tell you who it didn't happen to, which was the mayor of Tehran, uh, who was welcomed last year without incident. Uh, so the fact that politicians from the right and centre-right in Europe, Nigel Farage, Miriam Cates, Victor Orban and so on, academics, thought leaders in their field can't meet uh, in Brussels without the police effectively raiding uh, the conference and trying to blockade it. Uh, it's just utterly astonishing. Before I came on, I just had a chance to read uh, an English translation of the order given by the mayor to the police force. Uh, and in that, he said that there was no time for a risk assessment about the event. Uh, he said that it would be a disturbance to the peace because of its, and I quote, discriminatory nature. Uh, and because some of the attendees were traditionalist and, quote, disrespectful of human rights. Well, what about the right to freedom of speech, to freedom of assembly, to freedom of conscience? Uh, this, is the, this is the rank authoritarianism of a crummy student union. It's astonishing. And Benjamin, you're quite right to bring up the attendance of Ali Reza Zakani, the mayor of Tehran at an event last June. He appeared with the mayor of Brussels, and when he was asked about that, uh, this is a guy, by the way, who's been sanctioned by the European Union. His views are so extreme for serious human rights violations. He said this, just because certain people are present doesn't mean we have to agree with them. Well, how come it works one way but not the other? The clear takeaway from this, Benjamin, appears to be that the police have been politicised. I think that's clear. Um, I, I'd also say it's very disturbing, although it's, it's routine in other countries for police to carry firearms, it does appear extremely disturbing uh, from a British point of view to see a meeting of effectively opposition or opposing politicians uh, to be blockaded by armed police uh, are utterly astonishing, almost incomprehensible scenes. It's incredible that this has been allowed to happen. Uh, one of the things that's disturbed me most about it, though, I have to say, took place not in Brussels, but in the House of Commons early this afternoon, where West Street and the Labour front bench appeared to be making light of this whole situation, to be joking about it, uh, to be laughing at what was happening. And, and I think that shows us, I'm afraid, what the, uh, the view towards freedom of speech might well be under a Labour government. I wouldn't find it a matter of amusement if a Labour Party event or a Labour conference were being disrupted by police. I think that would be an astonishing and shocking infringement on their rights. Um, but I do expect that there should be some principled consistency in defending freedom of speech for people who don't agree with you. Uh, and as we've seen, that has been sorely lacking. And isn't that the point, Benjamin? We can't have this idea of one rule for me and one rule for thee. And there's a clear distinction between free speech and defamation. Some of the words you mentioned in that, in that mayoral dispersion order, um, traditionalist, well, what does that mean? Presumably it's a crime to agree with traditional family values, but it specifically says homophobes. Or pre were present in that event, those who are disrespectful of human rights and minorities, which is shorthand for you're a racist, and we can also cite an author of controversial works on political Islam. Now this is a mayor of a municipal city saying this about what all of the attendees inside. Benjamin, does that, is that free speech? Is that allowable? Or is that something different? Is that somebody in authority casting dispersions in a way that's damaging to the reputation of people involved in this event inside? As far as I'm concerned, look, he's a socialist. He can say whatever he wants to about the political views of the people at this conference. Uh, he, he can, he can uh, disparage them. Uh, he can criticise their views. He can mock them. Uh, he can hate them. That's fine. What he can't do, or rather what he should not be allowed to do, is use the power of the state, the power of the police, to disrupt meetings of people whose views he doesn't like. 
Fantastic stuff. Thanks for joining us. That's Benjamin Jones, the director of case operations at the Free Speech Union. Fascinating stuff.